Did you know that 65 of the Fortune 100 companies use Slack? Well, now you do. But here's another question. How well is Slack onboarding its users that 12 million people from the best companies around the world actively use it today? To find an answer, I conducted a case study examining its user onboarding methods and elements. And today, we're taking a closer look at that. This is Sarah from User Guiding, and without further ado, let's dive into this deep dive. Now, if you're not familiar, Slack is a collaboration platform for those too tired of the nits and bits of emailing back and forth. It was first introduced in 2013, and it has been going strong since. Why is their onboarding a big deal, you ask? Well, Slack's mastered the art of guiding users through their digital workspace with finesse. How so? Three reasons. One, universal appeal. Slack is a staple in B2B SaaS. Every little detail in their onboarding matters because when you are this popular, you can't afford to slip up. Their design, it helps us navigate with ease, making the complex simple. Two, turning empty into handy. Those blank spaces in Slack, they're actually cleverly disguised with useful tips and tricks. Slack transforms what could be empty into valuable informative spots. It's a smart twist on the traditional empty state. Three, interactive learning. Slack's onboarding is all about doing. From setting up the channels to integrating tools, it's a hands-on experience within the app. This approach keeps the learning active and engaging, so Slack's onboarding isn't just about getting you started. It's a journey tailored to make you an instant pro in their world. All right, let's get into the nitty gritty of Slack's onboarding, particularly for those setting up the workspace. It's like building your own digital kingdom for collaboration, and Slack makes sure you wear the crown right. First, kicking off with the sign up flow. It starts simply, enter your email and you are in a game, but then Slack turns the tables. Three questions set the base. Who you are, what your deal is, and who is in it with you. Almost like a police investigation. Just kidding Slack, I love the sign up flow, please don't sue me. Once you ace the sign up, the real magic begins. Slack introduces you to their first project channel. This is where you start feeling like the captain of your ship. The important here is hands-on, showing you around your new command center. Slack uses product tours with tooltips and uh, announcement parts to lead you through quite masterfully too if you ask me. Mastering the art of empty slides. Now, here's something about Slack. It turns empty spaces into treasure troves of information. Got a lot of white space? Slack fills it with useful tips, making the most out of every nook and cranny. Here's one telling you about what you can do on your new channel. Here's another about direct messages, and yet another, not only letting you know about a workspace status, but also what you can do about it. More onboarding for integrations. But wait, there's more. Slack's contextual onboarding truly shines when you start integrating apps into your workspace. They use a three-step onboarding flow like this one, a cute little tip in a modal window, and a lot more. The goal is maximum efficiency with minimal traction. And what about the onboarding of employees? Let's take a look at employee slash NYD onboarding. Slack is often a whole new world for NYDs, and Slack makes sure their entry is as smooth as a jazz tune. The NYDs first steps. Once the invite hits your inbox and you hop onto Slack, it's a friendly UI greeting you. It's not just a hello. Slack takes newbies on an interactive journey. It's practical, showing you how to chat, share, and even collaborate asynchronously. The Slack bot. Enter Slackbot, the digital helper. This isn't your average bot. Slackbot is like your friendly neighborhood guide inside Slack. It pops up across channels, dishing out help, tip, and tricks. I remember thinking, why can't all apps have a Slackbot? But Slack's ingenuity doesn't stop there. When it comes to integrated apps, each one carries its own mini onboarding. It's all in the details. Slack's mastery of onboarding shines in the little things inside its UX. Hover over an element and boom, microcopy appears, offering insights and shortcuts. It's not just helpful, it's intuitively designed to be part of your Slack journey, making sure you get the grips with the platform in a way that feels natural, not forced. The key takeaways. After going through both onboarding flows, here are some key takeaways from Slack's onboarding with all the good bits and not so good bits. The good bits are one, there are no overwhelming models. Slack shies away from bombarding users with large models or an army of tooltips. It's all about slipping in the information subtly, contextually. Two, Slack makes the most of every opportunity. Slack's smart. It uses every chance it gets to educate its users, not by force feeding them, but by embedding learning naturally into the apps flow. Think empty states that are more than just empty spaces. There are many learning hubs. 
And three, it offers ever-present learning elements. Certain onboarding elements in Slack are like good friends, always there when you need them. Those empty states and handy shortcuts that pop up with a hover are perfect examples. And here's the not so good bits. One. It takes its sweet time. Slack's approach to onboarding is a marathon, not a sprint. It's great for some, but for users who want to hit the ground running, it can feel like a leisurely stroll when they're late for a meeting. Two, there is curiosity required. Slack's onboarding hinges on the user's willingness to explore and discover. If you're not the type to click around and experiment, you might miss out on some of Slack's nifty features. And three, channel overload. With its heavy reliance on channels, Slack could do with a exclusive onboarding channel, like the infamous Notion Getting Started page, for example. A safe space to play around and get the hang of things without the fear of messaging the whole team by accident might do everyone good. The final verdict. So what's the deal with Slack's onboarding. It's innovative, it's contextually brilliant, and it's designed with the user's journey in mind. Sure, it's not without its quirks, and it demands a bit of an adventurous spirit from its users. But all in all, Slack's onboarding shows us what's possible when you design a user onboarding experience with your users' emotions and pain points in mind. And if you want to be able to craft beautiful onboarding experiences, you might want to check out user guiding. Or just stay in touch. Subscribe and ring the bell for more insights into beautiful UX and effective user onboarding. This was Sarah from User Guiding. See you next time.